Okay, so today we're going to talk about how you get rid of this annoying Chrome isn't your default browser come up in the top of Chrome every time you start it. Now, I did do a video on this a little while ago, and it appears for some users the suggestion I made no longer works as the option is no longer there in the flags. So this today, we are going to talk about a different way of doing this, which will definitely get rid of that for good on your system. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we are going to talk about how you get rid of that annoying Chrome isn't your default browser set as default bar at the top of the screen, as you can see on mine. So what we need to do, first of all, is we need to go to my website and the download section. So open up your browser, can be Chrome, can be Edge, can be Brave, can be Firefox, can be Opera, whatever you choose. So click up there. Now I should say this works on Windows. It doesn't work on Mac or Linux or Chromebooks. It is a Windows fix. So click in the address bar at the top, not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar right at the top, and then type in there C for Charlie, W for Whiskey, T for Tango, E for Echo, K for Kilo, .co uk forward slash W for Whiskey, D for Delta. So pause this video if you need to jot this down. Once you've typed it in all in lowercase and no spaces, then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed the correct address, then you should see this here. Now you might see this consent message. It's up to you what you do here. I'm gonna click consent and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go down to web browsers. So let's just keep going down. There we go, web browsers. And we've got two options here. We've got disable Chrome asking to be default browser. That gets rid of that message or enable if you wanna bring that message back at a later time. So I wanna disable it. So I'm gonna click on disable Chrome asking to be default browser. And that's a left click by the way. If you get any adverts come up, anything like that saying download, then just ignore them. Click on the cross in the top right hand corner to get rid of that. And then hopefully there you go, that should download. So you should see the file there download. Now, if you're in Chrome, you can just click on that file and then you can just double left click on this Chrome disabled default message there and then click run. And then if you get this come up, you can just click yes and you'll get this here saying adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of this information, then don't add it to the registry, but that's okay. I'm gonna say yes to that. And there you go, you should get a message saying that it's been successfully added to the registry. So I'm just gonna click on okay there. Now, if you didn't download it in Chrome, then what you can do is you can just shut down your browser and then go to any yellow folder and then find your download downloads folder there which is just there on the left and it's also there on the top go into any one of those and double left click on chrome disable default message and again click on chrome disable default message again and then click run these are all left clicks by the way and then click yes if this comes up and then click yes if this comes up and then click on OK. And now what I'm going to do is I am just going to restart the computer. So click on the start button at the bottom of the screen, click on the power logo and then click restart. Actually click restart. Do not click shut down sleep or lock. Click restart. So let's just do that. Wait for the computer to restart. And once the computer has restarted, just go up to Chrome, open it up. And there we go. Once Chrome has opened, as you can see, that message has gone. Now you can still go in and set Chrome as your default browser if you want to. You can just go into the start button, go into settings and just type in there default and then click on default apps and then where it's got set at defaults for applications under search apps, just type in there Chrome and up will come Google Chrome. You can click in there and you can still set it as a default by clicking on default up there. It just means if it's not the default, it won't keep hassling you with that message at the top bar, trying to bug you into getting it to set you, set the browser as a default. But if you did want to reset that message, then you can go back to my website. You can go to cwtech.com 
techspelt.co.uk. That's techspelt, T-E-K, forward slash WD, just as it's shown on the screen right now. Then press enter or return and then go down to again web browsers and this time click on enable chrome asking to be default browser that's a left click like i say if any of these adverts come up with download or anything like that then click on the cross in the top right hand corner and then it should start to download click on chrome enable default message if you're in chrome and then double click on chrome enable default message again then click run click yes click yes again and then click on OK. If you're not in Chrome when you're doing this, then you can come out of your browser, click on any yellow folder. Again, click on downloads either on the left or on the top there. And uh, that's a double click and double click Chrome enable default message. And then again, double click Chrome enable default message, click run, click yes, click yes and click OK. And then that should mean that that message should come back. I mean, it may not come back right away. It may take a little while before it comes back, but it's reset it so that it should be back to normal at a later date. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, please don't forget to hit that thanks button. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.